I went to Fort Gordon for basic training. They sent me to Fort Lee, Virginia to quartermaster school, and I knew the die was cast when they sent me to Fort Dix, New Jersey for advanced infantry training. Wow. And then they sent me to uh, Seattle, Tacoma, Fort Lewis, Hawaii, Okinawa, and Vietnam. I'm a decorated war veteran, Bronze Star. I got unit citations and a whole bunch of other stuff. I couldn't deal with it for a long time, but in my office now I have all my medals and stuff in a shadow box. US 5161229 for all the brothers out there, hey. You said you couldn't deal with it. What happened there, yeah. You think you'll ever write a book about that? Uh, it's too painful. It, it took me from 69, which was my um, uh, Eros, uh, estimated return from overseas, mm. um, Deros, uh, uh, to me coming out from 69 to 94 to come to terms with it. You know, I had a very violent, raging thing inside of me that I had to fight that uh, to keep from hurting someone or from being hurt because you're programmed when you go to Vietnam. When I came back from the war, I don't think that I was without a gun at my side from the time I came home until about 90-something. My baby girl is the one that calmed me down, and she said, Daddy, we're going to the movies. She said, leave that here. Right. Are you going to start trouble? I said, no, I'm just... She said, well, why are you taking that? I said, okay, you know, I'm old school. In case something jumps off. She said, what's going to jump off? We're going to a Disney movie. Right. <laughs> right. And so she helped me in my relationship with God, of course, but when you fight in a war, you're programmed. And there's a lot of brothers. I belong to an organization that emanates out of uh, Seattle, Washington, that have not been able to successfully make the transition mm. back into so society. And some of them wander. Um, I have t periods where I, I, can, I can't be around people. Wow. You know, I, uh, my, my trust factor is I test everyone. You know, I have to test everyone. And my wife says, you know, you need to accept people, Demond. You need to stop. And I've always been kind of cloistered as a result of, uh, as a result of that experience.